Matt Palmer as an artist is someone who can look at something cliche that you know you'd pass right by or not even give a second chance uh, to look at. Uh, I'm someone who looks at that and kind of really explores it a little bit more. Um, maybe puts a spin on it um, that nobody else has spun before. You know, gives it a unique perspective that kind of pays tribute to this mundane um, object that you wouldn't give, you know, a thought to. Um, I'm someone who can really highlight and kind of showcase that item, whether, you know, it be an apple core or, you know, a beat up bicycle. Um, I'm going to spin it and give it a look that you never, you've never seen before and really make it pop. When I was living in Halifax and when I was out in Vancouver, I saw a lot of street art. Um, and that's something that's really kind of resonated with me. Uh, I really like the strong graphic quality that it, it generally presents. Um, I like the imagery um, that can sometimes be presented. Sometimes it's whimsical, sometimes it's satirical, sometimes it's political in nature. Um, and it's just a real kind of visceral, kind of raw um, artistic expression. And that to me is contemporary art. It's very now. Um, it's what people are doing. I do understand contemporary art a little bit. I mean, I do have a background. I know the group of seven. You know, my parents have a, a cottage up in the Muskokas. So I'm I'm well acquainted with, you know, A.Y. Jackson and Tom Thompson and Lauren Harris and all of those people. And they have had an impact on my art. They're super saturated colors, which I kind of reflect as well. You know, Alex Koval, Robert Bateman. Robert Bateman does a lot of, you know, nature and animals and lots of texture in his fur. Um, so... I do understand a little bit of the contemporary scene. However, what really resonates with me is street art and just kind of the raw nature of it and the saturation of the color, the bright, heavy, bold lines, you know, just the rawness of it. Um, um, I take a lot of inspiration from kind of the media that I surround myself with. Uh, whether that be, you know, cartoons um, or uh, comic books. I get a lot of my inspiration from comic books. Uh, growing up, that was a huge influence on kind of how I saw um, the world and how I interpreted uh, the things that I saw. Um, so those are, like, really strong influences that I have as far as um, what kind of makes my art what it is, really. Um, like I said prior, uh, lots of bold colors that you get in a cartoon or a comic book, lots of heavy, uh, black lines. Um, yeah. So those are like big influences on my work. I like to have a lot of strong, um, bold imagery as far as like the central, um, image that you're focusing on, the backgrounds, um, sometimes pretty simplistic in nature. Um, a lot of, like I say, bold imagery that kind of contrasts contrasts the uh, the texture in the foreground um, with something really strong and bold and graphic in the background. What makes my work unique? I think um, I think the juxtaposition um, that I kind of portray in my work is rather unique. Like. I really push the natural textures um, as far as like fur and bark and things like that. Um, but then, like I said, I like to hit it with that heavy, um, heavy outline, that heavy uh, black line. It really makes the colors pop, really contrasts um, the natural textures that I'm portraying in my work. Um, the color saturation is another thing that really um, kind of makes my work unique. It uh, it looks natural, but at the same time, it's like kind of intensified as far as like you look at a, a beaver and it's got nice brown fur, um, but my work is really saturated. Um, so it really jumps off the canvas at you. And that's the line weight helps a lot with that as well. You know, you throw a black line uh, beside any color and it really just makes it pop. As far as kind of like bouncing around the country, uh, I moved out to Banff 
I lived there for about five years, Banff, Alberta. Um, went to Vancouver for a little bit in that time as well. So that really had a strong influence on my subject matter, I guess. Um, when I lived in Banff, that's where I first started to paint, and I had a lot of anger and angst at the time. So um, it was a really good place to mellow out and, you know, to be in that serene kind of natural environment. Um, and that had a huge impact kind of in later years as far as like what my subject matter is all about now, being surrounded with all that natural beauty. Um, Canada is such an awesome place, you know, we have such a, a range of environments. So, you know, I was living in the mountains in Banff, went out to the coast uh, on the west coast and saw what that was all about. And then I moved over to Halifax for five years. So I got to see the east coast, got to see what that was all about. And that had a really strong influence too. Like that's when I started doing um, a lot of kind of landscapey things or kind of nautical things that uh, that were really what kind of was indicative of that of that place. So, I mean, C to C, you kind of get um, a better sense of you know where you're from and what the environment is that you know is this entire country. So totally gives you a well-rounded view on what is Canada and uh, you know that totally helps form you know who you become as an artist. There are certain iconic um, images that you think of when you think of Canada. Maybe it's a hockey stick, maybe it's a you know a bowl of poutine or a maple syrup uh, bottle or you know something like that. But I think you know Canada is a lot bigger than that. You can't really like boil it down to a certain image or a certain thing. Um, so with my artwork, you know, I, I don't want to be cliche by like, like painting a maple syrup bottle, you know. Um, now, some people may say, you know, nature is cliche as far as Canada goes, but that's kind of where I am right now. And I think anything, you know, that as an artist, I we come across, we choose to interpret it. And that can make it kind of an iconic image, um, whether it be, you know, uh, a beaver or a moose or something like that, or whether it's, you know, a crumpled up uh, pop can on the sidewalk. Um, so I, I, don't, I don't think that me as an artist, I don't think that I want to make anything that's kind of already been played out a little bit, like, like I said, the hockey stick. Um, I think as a Canadian, we have such a broad um, pool to draw from. So it can be anything, really.